Hi, I just received this very small HDMI to HV converter. It's a very small box. Look, look at my hands. It's very small. It's a, it must be easy to use. I have, I have not uh, seen any other video about it, but uh, someone must be the first. As you can see, there's an HDMI input. There's a small switch to choose between PAL or NTSC. There's a USB uh, input for power, which the box needs, of course. And there are the outputs, the composite video and the stereo sound outputs. Uh, this is the box of which it came in. Uh, there's even a small manual, but of course we are not going to read that. And there's a USB cable which comes along with the set. So it's very small. I'm very uh, curious about the quality. We will see it in a moment. Of course we need something more. We need a HDMI cable. Uh, we need a output cable. And as my TV only has SCART inputs, we need a converter like this. To you uh, connect it to the television. Of course, there's no need to use a kit like this for a modern LCD television or plasma television with HDMI inputs. But I'm one of the few left with a, an old CRT television, and uh, my budget does uh, is not uh, that large at the moment to buy a new one. So what I want to do is to use a modern media player such as a, a Windows 7 PC or something else with the HDMI output and connect it to my old television. It's not that bad, it's a 80 centimeter uh, Philips television and it gives very good pictures so at the moment I'm satisfied with it. But let's have a try. Um, I will now go to the television and connect the, the, the set. So here is the set with all the cables connected and here is my uh, media player P PC. It's a uh, an AMD Fusion system, so it uh, consumes uh, not that much power, only 30 watts. Uh, I've measured it with a meter. Uh, it's not always on, it will uh, enter standby after an idle period of about a quarter of an hour. Um, of course, I have to move the, the old, the complete set. This is my set. I know it's old, I know, I know. And the other way. I have to go to the back of course and I have to connect it to the uh, HDMI output of this AMD Fusion board and then I have to choose one of the oh my gosh I thought I had one empty but so I have to select which one I will disconnect I think the one with the that goes to the DVD player because I won't need it anymore with the media player in the, in the future uh, the PC also has a DVD player inside so must be enough let's connect the, the, the set so here's the set connected and all. Goes into the HDMI input and also has a power cable to the small unit. And then it goes into the one of the SCART connections. Let's muffle this bit away. At the moment, of course, of course, I'm going to make it a lot, lot nicer. But at the moment, just to test if it works, I'll put it here. I'm also adding the remote control receiver for the Microsoft remote control for uh, the media player edition of Windows like Windows 7. Let's have a try if it works. Okay so, uh, okay, so here's the, the output and it indeed does work immediately and pretty well I, I, I think. Uh, you see the flickering of the television. It's, it's, uh, the, the picture is uh, stable of course. The resolution at the moment is a bit high. Uh, that's because uh, of course the HDMI output can uh, cope with uh, high resolutions. It's not uh, not very easy to use, of course, for uh, a low resolution television like this one. Uh, but it works. Let's have a try and um, log into the account. I'm curious now if the media player application will start. Let's see. I thought I. When I uh, configure it, but I can also push the the, the, button, the start button here, and you will see the MIDI player application starting. And although the resolution is high and at the HDMI input, it's no problem because the converter uh, converts it without any problem. And you see, I have a, a large 
font, a large uh, font, um, so I can read everything easily. The picture is very stable. It's a very good picture. I'm surprised by it. Let's see uh, how a video plays. <coughs> I have some episodes of Star Trek Voyager, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see about it. No, that's not the correct folder. This is from my kids and family. Let's see if there's some funny movie. It's in the football soccer uh, stadium. Uh, there's also sound, as you can hear. And it's, uh, the sound comes from the HDMI output, so it's, uh, it works perfectly. And it's also converted to the analog stereo output. So the, it's working very, very, very well. Um, the only thing I can, I can see is that uh, when playing a video, the video is uh, held in the, the original uh, aspect ratio. This is a 4x3 video, of course. But uh, you, just, uh, you just saw that uh, the application works in, uh, in widescreen mode also. So the, the, the HDMI converted us to work exactly as I expected. And the picture is very, very well. I can, uh, I can uh, really suggest to buy this small adapter. It's not expensive, it's about 20 euros, including postage from China. Uh, you can buy it on eBay and, uh, and other sites, I think. Um, so, uh, to my opinion, it's a, a very good buy. So, have fun with it. Bye!